How's this for a crazy workflow? So no pictures here. Uh, just took a couple of pictures. So they're in burst mode. So there's a few. Just choose one of the nine pictures that I like. So what I like to do is grab this living room monitor, plug it in here, and see my images on a big screen. Okay. This one's in focus, and it's showing my, some underwear. Uh, this one's in focus. Um, yeah, let's keep this one. So I started here. It's bound to function two, and then a star appears over here. And um, I know this is on SD card one. So I turn it off. I want to keep one picture and effectively delete the rest. Um, not sure how to do this on camera, but let me take the SD card out. Let me take SD, SD1 here. And let me pop, pop you in over here. Can you see I have an SD card slot? And boom, my image should be copied over to my NAS. And this is my NAS, by the way. Let me show you. I'm just SSH'd into my, my Nook, the same machine I plugged the SD card in. And what's gonna happen is that the SD card, as you can see from D message, is there. It gets mounted. Okay, it's right protected, whatever. And then I have a script which copies that to my NAS. It has a look at the daytime. Also, it has a look for the rating, that star. For some reason, it's three by default on the GH5. So hopefully that worked. So what I just did there manually, I, I'm gonna automate. So automating the auto mount in Linux was one of those things I've never really quite worked out. I've never figured it out in system D. So in void Linux, I thought it would be a better because it'd be like a fresh start because you know, void Linux doesn't use system D. After some research, I discovered this thing called uh, the lightweight device mounter. I couldn't quite figure out. I installed it using XPS, whatever, and the config kind of uh, messed with me. So uh, thanks to the author for being responsive on, um, on GitHub issues. I I just told him what I was trying to do and he helped me out, which is great. So what I ended up with was uh, a config that looks like this. So I'm basically telling the lightweight device mounter thing to run as my user in the MNT uh, directory. So obviously my, um, my mount is there, whatever. It detects when the device is plugged in somehow and then runs this script that I told you about earlier. The script, I did modify a little bit. Uh, for example, I have now like this run log and of course, you know, one of those little issues with uh, developing stuff is that I got like a permission denied initially until I created my um, my own uh, key and I, and I copied that to my NAS. So now it does work. Um, I can show you the log, it does work. Uh, it, it, it's copying uh, files that I've starred from my SD card into my NAS. I guess the one major thing is the unmounting part. You still kind of need to unmount it manually um, before you pull it out. I wish there was like a button that I could press and then unmount it, but of course you don't know if something else is using it and 
I don't know, I find expat just a bit weird. Like it, you know, it has all, it has that dirty bit if you don't deal with it correctly. I don't know if it really matters because ultimately I would probably be just taking out the, the SD card, putting it into my uh, GH5 and formatting it. So maybe it doesn't really matter. Um, but it'd be interesting if like, uh, you know, my Intel Nook, the one that runs void, maybe, maybe if you had like, you could click the power button and that would unmount it, but <laughs> some and and long press to turn it off or something, you know, that sort of thing. So um, that was my auto mounting adventure. It took a bit of time, hence, um, hence this video's uh, delay. Um, I hope you got something out of it. And um, if you know how to better auto mount in SystemD, I'm curious to know. Otherwise, this LDM tool by Lemon Boy was the trick. Please like. Please subscribe for more tech stuff like this, and uh, thanks for watching. Toodle pip.